Peter Barlas here, cardiologist. Now we have had a video on atrial fibrillation, a very common arrhythmia that is in the community. Here is a link to that video. Well, today we're gonna to talk about one of the treatment options that may be useful in some people with this condition. Now, atrial fibrillation is a common arrhythmia that causes palpitations, shortness of breath, but sometimes you may not have any symptoms. In some situations, particularly when the palpitations or the sense of flutters or the heart is racing and jumping around irregularly is causing significant symptoms, then there may be a procedure that can be considered. This procedure, generally called an atrial fibrillation ablation procedure, but more scientifically referred to as a pulmonary vein isolation procedure, is an invasive procedure that can be used to help reduce the burden of atrial fibrillation and symptoms. Now, the procedure itself is invasive. It's performed in hospital, normally with at least an overnight stay in hospital. It's performed with a general anesthetic, and there is a very large team of people involved that are monitoring the heart, with nurses, with anaesthetists, and the procedure involves a catheter placed through the vein, traditionally in the groin, the femoral vein, and from there a catheter is placed to the heart, to the right side of the heart, and then crosses into the left side of the heart, and it focuses on a particular part of the heart around the pulmonary veins in the atria of the heart and that's the top section of the heart and that's where fibrillation typically arises from. These little circuits are chaotically beating from several sites around this area to make the heart beat in an irregular and often fast rhythm. Well this procedure using these catheters can be used and essentially they are burnt or diathermied or sometimes even frozen uh, around this particular area to suppress them and reduce the burden of symptoms. So again, a very short video focusing on what a pulmonary vein isolation procedure is or a PVI or atrial fibrillation ablation procedure. It is not for everybody. Again, if you don't have any symptoms um, and not troubled by fibrillation too much, I guess the key factors then become making sure that we reduce the chances of little clots forming inside the heart. And that's one of the, the key considerations in atrial fibrillation. So we often have to use a blood thinner to reduce the chances of developing a little clot in the top parts of the heart called the atria. Because the heart is firing in a rather irregular rhythm, well that makes the heart a little more prone to building up clots. And these clots can unfortunately travel causing strokes. So blood thinners are often necessary in atrial fibrillation. But if the symptoms of palpitations are significant, then a PVI or an ablation procedure may be considered. Of course, there are lifestyle changes that we need to improve on to reduce symptoms, reducing the weight, reducing alcohol intake, addressing things like high blood pressure, addressing things like smoking, obstructive sleep apnea, that might be also a consideration that needs to be treated. And these are all simple things that we do before we consider an ablation procedure. But in those cases where it may be useful, well then hopefully you found this video informative. And until the next one, Bye for now.